back to another boxy charm unboxing very very belatedly for july of last year for the base box so we are still trying to chug through these and just get caught back up we basically did with the other beauty boxes if we could do it with all of them we'll eventually get there with boxy too so just hang in there so anyway thank you for your patience while i do so this is what the little card looked like very cute very california uh status zero 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 it's like oh all right so one two three four five products in this one our highest product value on one of these is 76 dollars that's in the base box like let's just start with that okay so it's a kate somerville product which you know damn well it's always pricey and this is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream, which, again, makes me nervous given how I ended up in the ER that one time over goat milk. But that was when I was, like, maybe 20. I haven't ever tried it again, either ingesting it or in skincare, so I'm still nervous, but it's also been a lot of years, so I might be totally fine now. I will just be very, very cautious and spot test first, <laughs> and we'll go from there. But anyway, so this one... Clinically tested, safe for sensitive skin, and gentle enough for all skin types, this nourishing cream is clinically formulated with moisture-boosting, visible redness-reducing ingredients known to soothe dry, tight skin. Inspired by the relief founder Kate experienced as a child when goat's milk helped alleviate her painful eczema. And of course, seeing mention of goat milk literally just makes me think of Ringo Starr now with his interview not that long ago, where he was going on about how... Um, I think it was like Stephen Colbert asked what his favorite kind of sandwich was. He said, oh, I love cheese. Just a cheese sandwich. No meat for me. I'm vegetarian. But it can't be cow cheese. It has to come from a goat. And Stephen asked him why. And Ringo goes on like, but the molecules, the molecules are too big. Have you ever seen a cow? The molecules are too big. And everyone like roasted him for how batshit insane that sounded. And then I Googled it. And actually, he's not 100% off his rocker on this one. Yeah, the fat molecules are in fact bigger in cow milk. And for somebody with a crap ton of digestive, uh, digestive issues like he's always had, you know what, I could see that being a thing that would make a difference. So you know what, alright, I, I give him a free pass on this one. But at the same time, any time I see mention of goat milk or goat cheese, now all I can freaking think of is Ringo Starr, so... Thanks, Ringo. Cool. Awesome. Anyway, so there's that. <laughs> now that I'm off my freaking tangent that nobody cared about. Uh, next up in here, I'm actually pretty excited for this. This is the Alley Oop Stack the Odds Trio. This is $38. It's a multi-use face stacker, three cream shades to play, highlight, blush, and contour. I'll show it to you in a minute. But let me read it to you first. So, a best-selling 3-in-1 stackable compact that packs a cream blush, bronzer, and highlighter for a complete natural look. The creamy formula is blendable, buildable, and infused with moisturizing ingredients like jojoba and sunflower seed oil for a natural glow. Apply directly with the fingers anytime, anywhere, or with a makeup brush or for a more dramatic or with a makeup brush for a more dramatic effect. Sorry, I can read. Travel friendly in a lightweight compact, the cream formula doesn't break like traditional powder products. Which definitely is a good thing. So I have the Sassy Pants variant of it. So let's show it to you guys. It is so cute. So it just looks like one of those little bentos. And it just flips open. And there's... ah, there's a mirror that says pretty face on it. That's so cute. So there's the mirror. But more importantly, here's our highlighter our blush, and our bronzer. Isn't that cool? Like, I love that. And it's slightly magnetic, so it just naturally will, like, flip back together. But it also kind of, like, doubles as, like, a fidget toy. Like, a really bougie fidget toy. But anyway, I digress! So I'm really excited to try that. Review coming soon on that one, because I have been dying to open this one. Like, you don't even know. Next... I'm actually really dying to get into this, too. So this is... What brand are we? Don't 
definitely misread that at first. It's the Beauty Crop Liquid Eyeshadow Duo. I, for some reason, thought this was a Trust Fund Beauty one, and I don't know why. But this is $18 for this duo. And it's a liquid eyeshadow duo. So dual-ended, long-wearing liquid eyeshadows. One side is a creamy velvet pigmented matte formula, and the other side is a dazzling liquid glitter formula. They are easy to blend and can be layered, mixed, and matched. A double dose of fun. So the matte side is in cinnamon, and the shimmer side is in fudge. How that is fudge? I don't freaking know. That would be closer to fudge to me, but whatever. I would flip those names if it were me personally, but I'm not the one who made the product. I didn't name it. Not my problem, but I'm still excited to try it. So then, we have, what are we? Beauty for Certain. I've never heard of that brand before. It's probably a some kind of celebrity brand, judging by the picture. Uh, this is a whole lot of mascara. Which makes me think of Austin Powers with Foxy Cleopatra, and I'm a whole lot of woman! Like, no one knows what the hell I'm talking about, I'll shut up. So this is $32. Volume boosting, lash doubling, insta enhancing, I put on my mascara just to go to the bodega, it's all I need to get a bold look that makes it bang. That's beauty for certain. Honestly, I feel that. There's plenty of days I will just put on mascara and nothing freaking else. I 100% get that. <laughs> And then lastly, we have the Sahara Nights uh, palette from Eloise. I love that. One of my favorite names in the world is Eloise, so I'm like, yes! Anyway, so this is $35, and the Sahara Nights palette features six unique, super sparkly, and highly pigmented shimmers that'll truly leave all your nights golden. So... The color names are Ibiza, City Lights, which makes me think of Liza, uh, Cocktail Hour, Miami, Disco, and Las Vegas. And here is what they look like. And all of those are absolutely stunning and ones that I cannot wait to play with. I hope they don't disappoint. I hope they wear as well as they look like they do in the pans. This should be a lot of fun to play with. So, for a base box, that was a pretty good one, right? Like, I'm pretty wild by everything in there. So anyway, that's it for this one guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddit, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link as always is down in the description. Anyway guys, until next time, see ya.